Here's what the peppers look like on the plant. They start out purple, then they change to yellow, and then finally to red when they're ripe. Now I'll get the ripe ones off and we'll go do a little taste test. Here's what we ended up in this generation. I only grew two plants because I only had room for two plants since I was growing them indoors and I had lots of other projects going on. But this is what we ended up with. That's the two largest one you can see. They vary in size a little bit. These three are from one plant and this one is from the other plant. I lost quite a bit of uh, heat in the last generation and I'm hoping we can get some of that back with these. We won't know till I taste one. But before I get to the actual taste test, for the benefit of those who haven't been following along and the newer subscribers, I'm going to give you a little bit of history on these. Oda is a sweet pepper that has purple peppers and is pretty productive and they grow on a compact plant. I've grown them for several years and one year I saved seeds and the next year I got a little surprise. Instead of getting the familiar purple peppers, this is what I got. And instead of being sweet, when I bit into one, it was very hot. I also saved seeds from this one. So now let's take a look at what we got the next year. I grew 10 plants from those seeds and as you can see there was a lot of variability. Not only did they vary in color but they varied in the amount of heat they had when I tasted them. And we still had some variability but I was starting to get more of that purple Oda coloration. Not sure how well this is going to show up indoors. But this has got the Oda coloration basically. And I would like to have a pepper that's got some heat, but not much hotter than a jalapeno. So here's some of those F3s that I harvested from the grow bag. They make for a pretty picture. And here are some of the same peppers in the grow bag after they've had time to ripen. They go through a lot of interesting color changes. I grew the F4s last year and I did a terrible job of trying to document their progress. About the only difference from this year is the fact that they had less heat and the fact that this year's peppers are going through some different color changes. Now instead of changing from purple to red, they change from purple to yellow and then red. All right, now that you know where we started and how we ended up here, let's cut into a couple of these and I'll take a taste test and we'll see if we got any of that heat back that I lost. The walls are pretty thick. I like that. Gets rid of some of these seeds because I'm going to be saving the seeds for the next generation unless it tastes like dirt or something. I'm going to go ahead and taste this piece and see what I think. Okay. Yeah, we got some heat back. The flavor is pretty good. It's Slightly sweet, but not overly sweet. And it's got the type of heat that builds. Um, I, if I had to guess the heat level, I would say it's still very mild. I would have to say it's probably about one to two thousand on the Scoville scale that's just a guess though but it's very mild and if I had my choice I would kind of leave it just like it is now as far as heat level I like that milder heat you can get a little bit of the flavor of the pepper without being overwhelmed by heat but um, overall I'd say I'm happy with the way the taste uh, of this turned out in this generation now I'm going to give uh, 
my taste buds a short break and we'll come back and taste this one. All right, let's taste this pepper from the other plant. And I'm using a clean knife because I don't want to accidentally transfer some oil from the pepper we just tasted. Just going to cut off a little piece here. Kind of juicy. It's not quite as thick, but, but it's not quite as large as the other one either. Try this and see what I think. Alright, that one's got similar heat, maybe just a little bit more, but I don't like the taste of it quite as much. It has more of a, I would describe it as an earthy taste. It's just not as pleasant as the, the first one. So, just going by the taste test, I'm going to carry the... Uh, seeds from this one forward to the next generation and this one will be cold. I'm really excited about the possibilities for this. If we could get maybe a little bit more heat and a little better flavor, I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but it's an interesting pepper, I think. If you got any interesting pepper projects going, let us know about it down in the comments. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.